Hello guys, in this video we will take a look at how to verify Amazon Cognito token. Amazon Cognito token has a format of JSON Web Token or JWT. So first we need to confirm the structure of JWT. Then we need to validate JWT itself. And finally, we will need to verify the claims. In order to confirm the structure of JWT, we need to distinguish header, payload and signature. And those three parts are separated by the dot delimiter. So in the header, there is a key ID and the RSA algorithm. The payload contain token claims. In an ID token, the claims include user attributes and information about user pool, app client. And in access token, the payload includes scopes, group membership, your user pool as issuer, and your application client as client ID. The signature is not base64 decodable, and it really tells us if the payload information hasn't been tampered with. The header and payload are base64 encoded JSON. You can identify them by the opening character EYJ that decoded to the starting character of uh, squiggly brace. If your user uh, presents a base64 encoded JWT to your app and it's not in the format JSON header, JSON payload and signature, it's not a valid Amazon Cognito token and you can discard it. The next step is to validate a JSON web token. We need to decode the ID token. Open ID Foundation maintains a list of libraries for working with JWT token. You need to compare local key ID to the public key ID. For that, we need to download and store corresponding JSON web key or JWK for your user pool. We need to search the public JSON web key for a key ID that matches the key ID of our JWT. And finally, we need to use a JWT library to compare the signature of the issuer to the signature of the token. You may need to convert JWK to PEM format for that. And usually, uh, JSON Web Token Node.js library is used to verify the JWT signature. Finally, we need to verify claims. We need to verify that the token is not expired. The AUID claim in an ID token and the client ID claim in access token should match the app client ID that was created in the Amazon Cognito user pool. The issuer ISS claim should match your user pool. For example, a user pool created in US East 1 region will have the following issuer https cognito idpus east onemazonawscom slash user pool ID. Finally, we need to check the token use claim. So if you're only accepting the access token in your web API operations, its value must be access. If you're only using the ID token, its value must be ID. And if you're using both ID and access token, the token use claim must be either ID or access. Validating tokens uh, is quite a bit of work. So AWS came up with a AWS JWT verify library to make our life easier. This library will check that access or ID tokens aren't malformed or expired and have a valid signature. We'll also check that access tokens came from the correct user pool and app clients, that the access token claims contain the correct auth 2.0 scopes, and that the keys that signed your access and ID tokens match assigning key ID from JWKS URI of your user pools. Let's take a look how to use AWS JWT Verify Library to verify the tokens on the back end. So first we'll need to add AWS JWT Verify uh, library in the backend workspace of our project. Let's do that. Next, we are going to create verifytoken.ts file in the backend SRC middleware folder. And let's uh, start putting our code in there. First, we're going to import Cognito JWT Verifier from AWS JWT Verify. 
then we import some types from the express you know request response and next function then we're gonna write the middleware and we put drag rest and next now in the middleware we uh we'll grab the authorization header if there is no authorization header we will return unauthorized next we will get the token by replacing bearer space and then we create a verifier using cognito verifier create so we'll add user pool id token use access since we're using access token and a client id now we're gonna try to verify the payload with a verifier verify function and after the payload is successful we will add a user on the request object so later on in our application we can grab the user information from the request and we'll put id this will be payload sub we'll put the username from the token which will be in the username property and a payload scope so then after that we call next however if the payload fails to verify we'll do catch and then we're going to respond with a status 404 unauthorized again since we added a new property user on the request object that's from the express uh, our typescript complains so now what we need to do is to create a types folder in the src folder of the backend and we'll need to create a file called index.d.ts so in that file we're going to define the types i'm going to import user from the user and we will create it uh, now we'll just do just export and then we're going to declare a global namespace express interface request and we'll put an optional property user now we need to go and create that user that we just imported in the same folder types we're going to create a user.ts file and we will export the user and we will define the user type with the username id and the scope the things that we put on the request and this will take care of the typescript error so if we go back to verify token there is no error anymore finally in the server.ts file we need to import verify token middleware from the middleware we just created and then we need to attach this middleware to the routes we want to protect in our case we want to protect message name and api user routes so we insert middleware right here and that's it this is how you verify uh, aws cognito token thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video